everyone. This is our first day of class and first, I would like to introduce myself. I am Kimberly Mangubat, your teacher in Science, Technology, and Society. Before we proceed to our discussion for today, I will allow you to introduce yourselves as well. Hi, ma'am. I am Jaxil Mutiko. Hi, ma'am. I am Jericho B. Munon. Good morning, everyone. I am Apple Grace Ismayol. I am Christine Mercado. Okay, nice to meet you, students. Now, we will going to proceed to our discussion. So, our topic for today is all about human flourishing in terms of science and technology. So, these topics, we have four objectives and those are... The introduction of this topic in ancient Greek society, they believe that acquiring this will surely bring the seekers happiness, which in effect allows them to partake in the greater notion of what we call the good. As time changes, elements that comprise human flourishing change. People found means live more comfortably, explore more places, develop more products, and make more money. Human flourishing in science and technology. Humans have evenly flourished when science and technology came and made technologies that will make their everybody live. Easier from the small things to big contribution. These adv advancements have developed through time. Humans have developed a lot of things that will even listen manual labor. Also, science and technology made a big impact on the flourishing of human education, which is very relevant in our society nowadays. From computers that help students in their studies when doing research in any online research researches. Since technology have invented that improves human quality of life, we also are the biggest factor when it comes to the improvement of science and technology. We are the ones who made the improvement and we are the ones who benefit from it. Human flourishing is the capacity to carry on with a decent life. It stems well-being characteristic, characteristically and applies generally to every single human existence. Human tribe accept, accept our common humankind and serve everybody advantage. All individuals ought to have the condition for prospering and understanding their capacity to be solid. They can utilize their qualities, gifts, and capacities and guess for their own objectives and will be it. I am Christine Mercado and my topic is all about the technology as a way of redeeming and the human condition before common era. Technology as a way of rebuilding. Comparing the lives of the people before and now will make anyone realize the changes that happens in society, not just in terms of culture, language, or rights, but more importantly, changes in people's way of life due to the existence of science and technology. The term generation gap is attributed mainly to the changes brought about by technology. Although the orig original idea for technology is be comfortable in using the different kinds of technology, Mostly, these people who belong to the older generation think that te this technology are too complicated to operate. My objective is to explain the rule of art in a technological way. And my topic is all about science as methods and results and general idea of how to do science. For the most part, science imputation is based on the objectivity endangered by an arbitrary and flexible process that, by its very nature, exonerates it from any accusations of bias. Such notoriety successfully elevated science to a pedestal above other institutions, with its single claim to reason and empiricism attracting adherents eager to defend it and its method. The scientific method and results. It 
presents a general idea of how to do science. First is to observe and determine if there are any unexplained events or developments. Second, determine the problem and identify factors involved. Third, formulate hypotheses that could explain the said phenomenon. The goal is to reject the null hypothesis and accept the alternative hypothesis for the study. Fourth, conduct experiment by setting up the dependent and independent variables. Fifth, gather and analyze results. And lastly, formulate conclusions and provide recommendation. Recommendation. Objectives number four, critic human flourishing vis-a-vis -vis the progress of science and technology. Hi everyone, today I will discuss the human condition in the common era. It is a long time that humans were content with their relationship with nature. Early yes, case of man-made extension occurred over 200 years ago, possibly brought upon by hunting and territorial disputes. The essence of technology, humanity has ended come a long way from our primitive ways. And as a general rule, it is said that we are developed than we were before. In a modern generation, humans are reliant on technology in their search for the good life. Technology has been instrumental in all of this because in searching for the good life, people were able to come up with creation that would make life easier, more comfortable, and more enriched. To sum it up, Hedinger in the question of technology highlights some points. So the first one is, technology is not a means to an end. The second one is, technology is not a product of human activity. And the third one, technology is the highest danger. So, the first one, it is not means to an end. Not an instrument, rather a tech, or as Greeks say, helping to come into being. And here, we touch with Aristotle's metaphysics. So, the second one, it is not a human activity because we should not see that we humans are the source of the creation of every entity in this world. The third one is the highest danger because first of all there is a danger that humans will also interpret themselves as raw materials if you want to move towards a new interpretation of being this would itself be a technological intervention we would manipulate our manipulation exerting power over our way of exerting power now now as i listen to your reports I conclude that human flourishing involves rational use of one's individual human potentialities, including talents, abilities, and virtues in the pursuit of his freely and rationally chosen values and goals. So, science and technology must be treated as part of human life that needs reflective and meditative thinking. So, Human flourishing is defined as an effort to achieve self-actualization and fulfillment within the context of a larger community of individuals, each with a right to pursue his or her own such effort to nurse help the individual to reclaim or develop new pathways toward human flourishing. And that's all. Thank you for, for your efforts and for your report, students. Goodbye.